Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm excited to present our research here. And this work is done by collaboration of College of Medicine and Graduate School of Data Science in Seoul National University, South Korea. As you all know, manual scoring of PSG by sleep technician is time consuming, labor intensive, and has high interator variability. Therefore, AI-based automatic scoring has emerged. However, AI models are often considered black box. When we input the target epoch for prediction, the black box model only provides an answer without further explanation. Therefore, clinicians cannot understand why the model predicts as N2, nor how accurate the prediction is. Recently, there have been efforts to develop explainable AI models. Sleep Transformer was the first to use the Transformer structure with attention weights visualized on a single channel EEG. Another approach utilized a standardized image based PSG dataset, providing a heat map to highlight the areas where the model focuses. However, Sleep Transformer is limited by using only one EEG channel. And the second approach suffers from the low resolution, making it less intuitive. Here, we propose Sleep XVIT, short for Sleep Explainability and Vision Transformer. We inspired from the fact that clinicians see the waveform and approached it as the vision task. We build our dataset based on snapshots representing the clinician's perspective during scoring. This dataset contains over 10,000 PSG records and each image representing one epoch with 30 second segment. I will briefly introduce our backbone architecture, the vision transformer. It transforms an image into a sequence of tokens by dividing it into patches. Unlike CNN, the transformer can learn image features globally. For example, when the first token becomes the key, it calculates the similarity with all other tokens equally. This architecture is particularly suited to our image format. Unlike cat and dog images, our image has no clear distinction between object and background. We transformed an image into a sequence of tokens. And these tokens, along with positional embeddings, are fed into transformer encoder and classifier. After training, intraepoch VIT can extract the feature from the image. Next, in the inter-epoch VIT, we concatenate these consecutive epochs into a new sequence and fed this sequence into a transformer encoder, training the network to produce a sequence as output. This approach allows our model to learn the context of each sequence, thereby improving its accuracy. In this study, we employed the KISS image dataset and converted public SHHS signal dataset into an image format similar to KISS. Despite differences between these datasets, our model showed robust performance. Our model, Sleep XFit, showed the state of the art performance in all dataset, beating the baseline models. We also analyzed our confidence score. Before diving into the result, I'd like to briefly address the problem of modern deep learning of being overconfident. Consider a model designed to classify images of cat and dogs. If the model wrong but with high confidence, we say that the model is overconfident. In this situation, we cannot believe the confidence score as it does not represent the true accuracy. However, if the model is wrong but also with low confidence, we can say that the model is well calibrated. Consequently, when faced with low confidence, a human reviewer would question the model's output and reassess the image. On the left, we see poorly calibrated, overconfident model ResNet. On the right, our models show that accuracy and confidence are well aligned. As a result, clinicians can use our confidence scores as a guideline to decide whether to trust the model's prediction. Now, even if you have the confidence score, it's important to understand why the model has high or low confidence. 
Here, we present the visual explanations that highlighting the model's rationale behind the prediction. These are all single heat maps on the input PSG image from our representative patient. To explain the detail I magnified N2 and N3 images, they generally align with AASM guidelines. For instance, our model highlights slip spindles and K-complexes in the N2 stage. In the N3 stage, the model prominently highlights the slow waves. We also aggregated heat maps and found the distinct signal regions for each classes. Additionally, we showed the impact of inter-epoch VIT. For example, this image was incorrectly classified as N2 by intra-epoch VIT. It has N2-like heat map and low confidence score. However, our inter-epoch VIT can see the neighboring epochs. Consequently, by learning from the context, our intra-epoch VIT corrects the intra-epoch VIT's wrong prediction. Furthermore, our heat map of sequence can show the impact of neighboring epochs. If the color is darker or closer to black, it means high relevance to the target one. So from these, we improved our performance and explained how it happened. We also evaluated our explainability methods consistency using k-means clustering. Without using the labels, we grouped the image with five clusters. And we found that similar heat map grouped together. And each cluster has a dominant class. This finding suggests that our explainability method is consistent. The bar graphs below show the dominant class of each cluster. So excluding N1, we observed that the same class consistently generate similar heat maps. Unlike the existing black box models, slip XVIT is accurate and explainable with the well-calibrated confidence scores and supporting visual explanations. So humans only need to review low confidence epochs, boosting efficiency. Sleep XVIT opens new opportunities for human AI synergy by unveiling how AI works. We believe that its visual explanations can offer valuable insights for novel advancement in sleep research. Thank you for listening and visit my poster session if you have further ideas to discuss. Thank you.